Okay, let's talk about creating uh, users and then granting permissions to users. Because up till this point, we've pretty much just been using this as administrator or as the root user, which is great because you've got all power and it works wonderful for you to do it. But sooner or later, you're going to want to give users access to your database as well. Now, typically, we won't grant permissions to individual users, just like with anything else, right? So in Windows Server, we don't grab give permissions to individual users, we give them to groups. Well, it's the same thing here, except instead of groups, we have roles. So here's what I want to do. I'll let you know where we're going, and then we'll work on getting there. I want to uh, create a user, and I want to give them permission to the world database, not any of my other databases that are over here, just to my world database. And I want them to be able to select data, insert data, update data, and delete records. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by creating a role. So it's create role world underscore user and execute. And that creates our role. So now that we have the role, we can grant permissions to it. So we have a bunch of uh, privileges that we can actually uh, view so, or that we can actually use. So I'm just going to do a show privileges just so you can see what all they are. And so here we have permissions, the privilege, the context, and then the comments. So alter applies to tables. It allows us to alter a table. Uh, drop can apply to databases or tables and allows us to drop databases, tables, and views. Uh, create, we can give the permissions to create views, to create databases, tables, or indexes. We can give permissions to select, and so you'll see a bunch of them here. And then as we scroll down, you're also going to see a bunch of defined server admin uh, privileges as well. So that's where you can look and see which privileges you can actually assign. So now that we've seen that, I want to assign certain permissions, and I'm going to do this using the grant. So it's grant, and then you give the privileges that you want. In this case, I want select, I want, I don't want alter, I do want update, I want insert, and I want delete. Now, I need to define where these privileges are going to go. So I'm going to grant these permissions on, and then I'm going to tell it what I want. So I want this on world dot asterisk. So basically every table in the world database. Now, if I didn't want to, I could specify world.country and then I could do it on help if I spelled country correctly world.country language and then not give them permissions on cities or whatever I want to do right so in this case I'm doing it for the entire world database but that's how you would specify specific trait tables uh, and I want to give these to the world underscore user role so I'm going to execute that and that gives me my grant now, by the way, to get rid of priv uh, privileges, it's revoke. So grant gives privileges, revoke uh, gets rid of privileges. So I need to create a user and assign them to that role. So here we have create user, and then I'm going to get the username, and I'm just going to use mine, if I can spell my own name correctly. Create user, and then I'm going to specify a password. So it's identified, and this is a little bit weird, identified by, and then I'm going to put in the password. And then you can also set an option for password expire if you want the password to start out immediately expired. So we'll do this with a one-time password, right? And then they'll log in, and then the first thing they'll have to do is change their password. Identified by, give them the specific password, and then I'm going to set the default role is going to be world user. Probably help for both space there too. Uh, so I'm creating the user. I'm giving them username identified by, and I'm identifying the password, and then setting a default role. And so I execute that. Okay, now I've created the role, created the user. Now I do want to show you something else real quick. While we're here, we've been sitting on the schemas. Let's come over to administration and look at users and computers. And here you're going to see the world user role that I created. So we have um, 
world user. Here are our administrative roles, which there are none. Here are the schema privileges. And you'll see on the world, they have these privileges. And then for the user David, we'll see that they have basically nothing except for the fact that they are part of that role. And if I want to expire a password, by the way, I can do that right here. Force user to change password after next logon. Okay. I'm not going to play with this for the moment, though. I'm going to endeavor to close that, and then I am going to close my connection. Now I'm going to create a new connection to the local one, and this is going to be just David and username David. And I'm going to test my connection, put in my password, and hit OK. And successfully made the SQL connection, so life is good. Okay, now let me go ahead and connect. And I've been playing around in here before. So I am going to see if this works. Now I'm going to start by viewing my current role. So that is select current underscore role, open and close parentheses. And it tells me that currently I'm a member of world user at, and then that little parentheses, remember that's the, or not parentheses, punctuation mark that's the equivalent of an asterisk so it's a wild card that means everything so i'm world user at and i can connect from any computer so that's my current role and i can view the permissions that i have by using the command show grants and that will show me i have grant usage to everything grant select insert update on world to me uh, from any location, grant world user, everything to David. Okay, so this gives me my grant. So now I should be able to select asterisk from country, and I should have permission to view, whoops, I need to select the database first, use world. There we go. And then we'll select asterisk from country. And now I should be able to see everything in country. I should be able to see everything in my cities. So I should have access to everything at this point in the world database. Now let me try to connect to another one. View my schemas over here. Oh look, I only see one thing in my schemas. Now I know there is a Sakia database. So let me use Sakia. Even though I'm not seeing it over here, I know it's there. And it says, no, access is denied to user Sakia. So you can see that we have things actually blocked. OK. I also should not have the permission to drop a table or to create a table or anything like that. So I'm going to create table. Oh, let's give it a name of test. And then I'm just going to try to create an empty table. And it says, no, the create command denied to user. So there you see we actually have blocked out permissions. And we've given this user some permissions, but not all permissions. So that's how we're going to work on securing our databases when we start adding users into them. So. We create the roles, we grant the permissions that we want to the roles. Once we grant, give the permissions, then we'll create the users, add the users to the roles, and they should be ready to go with what they need. Remember, you can always go back and we can grant more to the role using the grant, and we can revoke if we need to using the revoke command. It's the same thing, revoke, permission, on, to, and specify what it is we want to revoke. Okay, hopefully that gives you what you need to start working on securing your databases.